Turn your Bibles with me to Matthew 16, verse 13 through to 15. I'm going to ask you to stand in the hands of God in reverence to his word. When you find it, say amen. Right. Matthew 16, 13 through to 15. Everybody find it? And it reads, When Jesus came into the coast of Sip, Syria Philippi. He asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that the Son of Man am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. 15 and last. He says to them, But who? Say ye that I am. Who say ye that I am? We're going to rest it there. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity, Heavenly Father, to be used by you. But mighty God, before I deliver the word unto your people, that which you have given me, I ask the Lord that you empty me. Jesus. Father, I am just a vessel before you. Yes, With no name, mighty God, just an empty vessel that you have poured in, mighty God, to pour out. So, Father, let your word go with sound and with clarity. Let your word, mighty God, move as a two-edged sword, piercing through bone and marrow. Mighty God, let your word ignite with the Atmosphere. Let it trouble, mighty God, your people's heart. Let it go unto them, mighty God, and create fruit. In your name, Jesus, I thank you. Thank you. As I give you praise, honor, and glory. You may be seated. Amen. Who is God to you? That's my question to the church tonight. Who is God to you? And while I ask this question, I want you to search yourselves, each and every person. Because now I'm asking you to separate church, religion, and everything before you. And I'm asking you to ask yourself, who is God to me? Since so I'm going to ask you to read the scriptures from a comment of course and grab a line. Quickly, please. Thank you. When I look at the passage that I just read, where Jesus asked his disciples, who do I say that I am? When I think of the reply that was given My God. down in the scripture, mm -hmm. what it says to me is okay, that God bears many names. Who is God? Who is God to you? Our Father bears many names. Just as our situations are many, our God bears many names to fix each and every situation that we have. Amen. Yes, you see, sometimes we go through some things and I want you to bear with me pray for me while I go through with this word. Because we need to understand that for every problem, for every situation, happiness, joy, peace, there is a name that we call Jehovah for. Yes, come on now. Oh, the devil wants you to believe that when he shows up in your territory, 
the word says that God is every only person. I don't know what you're about, but my God is only person. Yes, yes. So when the devil comes into my territory, the word of God says that he's going to rise up and against him. Yes. So the word is going to tie me tonight. Since I want you to hold on to Genesis 22, 13 through to 14 from me. Because we're going to name his names tonight. We're going to lead out to the house understanding the different names that our God has. Sometimes we're going to pray your pastor and we, we call up on, 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 on Jehovah Jireh. We call upon some names we be doing that we don't understand what we're for. Maybe we hear somebody pray. Maybe we hear Pastor say it. But we're going to learn tonight through the word why you're going to call, when you're going to call, who you're going to call, for what time you're going to call him, for what situation you're going to call him, for what territory you're going to call him for. Because my God says that he will show up. Yes, yes.
My provider. Come on now. He's my provider. Yes. Because I know that there are times when there's nothing. There are times when there's nothing. I was coming on the people and the sister said there's times when she don't have no food. Let it go and all that it was grown because she don't understand that I understand that there are times when there's nothing. My God. But I am determined to stay the course. Yes. If my God says that he will provide he will provide. Right. Esther said, if I perish, I, I perish. perish. I must see the king. He is your provider. Quickly find Exodus 15, verse 16 for me, please. We won't get it tonight. And all those who get it already, go ignite. Exodus 15. And all I 
I could hear. All I could hear, ringing in my ears, was gentle voice, shalom. All I could hear was Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom means peace. When the devil raised war, all you need to do is raise your hand and cry out. Jehovah Shalom. Because he brings peace yes. to any situation. I remember a section in the Bible where the storm was under the water. And they thought it was a ghost at first. My they God. were wondering, and the disciples were in the boat and they were wondering, what was that? In that situation, but there's another one where he was on the boat and he was sleeping. And the boat tossed and turned, and the water raged, and the water go up, come down, and the disciples get frantic. And all Jesus got up and said was peace. Be still. Be still. My God. Who inside here need to call? On Jehovah Shalom. My favorite one is found in Isaiah 42, verse 13. I love this name. It's one of them that when I feel fire in my belly, when I find every dog, when the devil find every dog to spear at me, this is one of them that I grab on to. You find it, sis? Isaiah, Isaiah 42, verse 13. Isaiah 42, verse 13. From it. From it. Anybody find it? Just get it. Stand up. Isaiah 42, verse 13. Jesus. 
grown in an atmosphere I felt full of saturate the place. I don't know if anyone has ever called upon God before. That when you call upon him, you feel that everything in the atmosphere moves with you. what I'm saying to you tonight and outlining the attributes of our Father in heaven. I'm aligning you tonight that there are weapons that you can target with. Whatever is done that you see in the spirit in the physical realm, it's already done in the spiritual realm. So this is just a manifestation that has already So, hold me up in your house. 
say you can't. I said, my father, I said, God, no, me this, me that, no, God, me can't, me can't, me shouldn't, me have to, me can't, me do. And everything after your mouth is a whole plane. How you are giving your mouth step back against your wall when you have a what? A shepherd leaves his sheep. So he not only gives us the money, he leads us with it. Yes. Word is Allah. So all who can read, uh -oh. Uh oh, all who can read, they get the lead. That's why you can hear some ministers saying that I could not read books. No, I can't. My God, so true, so true. He does not leave you with the manual alone. Let me go with your guys need to start doing to them. They do it in your own workplace where you, 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 you lead while you give the manual. But God does not only say, do this. He directs you. That is why the word says, he is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. He directs us. Yes. So when we need direction, when you need direction, you call upon Jehovah Ra. Hmm. You ever heard that before? Who inside your hear that before? Who inside your knew what it meant? Jehovah Ra. The shepherd that you need. He did not leave us naked. My God. But the devil creates obstacles. Mm -hmm. These obstacles are called weapons. Come on now. But one thing for sure that the Lord said, and they shall not prosper. No weapon. When he said to the woman, he shall bruise your head. But what did he say after? You shall rub up a sheep in the road. You shall crush the head of the serpent, the very serpent that bites your heel. You shall crush it. Amen. My God. I hear a pastor say something in church this morning. So whatever the devil meant for evil, the Lord turns it around for good. I want you to understand something that nothing that the enemy rises with can kill you when it's needed. So true. Brother Curtis. That one is failing. And that is not just for you, it is for your matrimonial union. Nothing that the enemy rises with shall come by you and tear you apart unless you let it. My God. We have the tools. To overcome. But we need to understand when fear come up. We need to realize that God did not give us a fear, a spirit of fear. But love. You see, you, you know the serious part of all that? I saw the man. My God. I saw the man in me. 
Ya I'm God. Ya I'm is a click. You're ready. Look no past your territory and your seat. A soul in your mind. Something very hits you in frustration. You're hitting back with the world. Because my God did not give me a spirit of fear. So guess what happened? I've been shaking my mind. And he said that I have been, have been given a soul mind. So when the suicide attacks come, we hit it down. When doubt comes, we hit it back. We cannot say we have faith in God and don't know God. We need to know who God is. And without knowing who God is, we can't fight. Let me give you a scenario. Brother Beverage. You ever gone to school? I don't know if you have any bigger brother. You go to school and like, the bigger boys then start to fight. But then in your head, you know you have one brother to God. See, I say, watch me and I say, you can't pass me on. Because me and my brother are going to deal with your kids. You get what I'm saying? Yes. He knows the capability of his brother. So he will say unto those that put him in danger, My brother is at home. Pass me down if you're back. How many of you inside here tonight know God? Is that small and long one? Whoa. How many inside here know God? And know the capabilities of your father? How many of you know that you are more than God? How many of you know that just like the three Hebrew boys, that when they were thrown into the fire and it was ignited seven times more, that they would stand in there because they knew their God. And you said, even if he does not come, we will not bow. Because they understood the capabilities of their we need to understand what our God is capable of. Then depression won't come and lean. Then fear won't come and lean. The Bible didn't say it won't come. You're going to feel these things. The attacks are going to come. But what he wants you to do is to face it with the word. Yes. Amen. You have to be rooted and grounded. If you're not rooted and grounded, anything you be like the sea, the way is just the same. To and fro. Anything. Anyway, anyhow, I hope you're getting it. I, I, I can't do it like a pastor do it. But I do it how God instruct me to do it. Because He wants you to get the word tonight. He wants you to leave with the word tonight. Because he said that he is here. So what is he going to do? Just stand into the territory and do nothing. You got to know what to ask for. 
you got to know how to identify what the enemy is throwing at you and what you need to come back with. Yes. Because if you don't, hey, this is not serious sermon this morning, talks a whole lot of things because when you said that, that your angel is lazy, we don't understand how serious that is. 